Hello valued customer, welcome to the TP-Link wireless adapter installation and setup video for Windows. This video is going to demonstrate how to install and set up your TP-Link wireless adapter onto the Windows operating system. Now to get this done, you just need to follow three simple steps. First, you're going to connect the adapter. Second, you're going to install the driver software. And third, join a Wi-Fi network. Before we begin, let's take a look at the three TP-Link wireless adapter types. Each adapter type connects to the computer through a different interface. The three are PCI Express or PCIe, PCI, and USB. Note that some USB wireless adapters also include a USB cradle. These can be installed in exactly the same way as a normal USB adapter, so you don't have to worry about it. Let's start by connecting the adapter. This will be for PCIe or PCI adapters. Now, the installation process for both the PCIe and PCI adapters are exactly the same. Uh, before installing the adapter, please shut down your computer, unplug the power cord, and disconnect any additional devices. So first you're gonna attach the included antennas to the adapter. You wanna do this before you install the PCIe adapter into the computer, um, because doing so afterwards may risk damaging either the adapter or the computer. So that's why we strongly recommend to put in the antennas first. So there we go. Let's go to the computer now. Open this computer's systems unit by removing its case panel. Now the method will vary depending on the computer's manufacturer. So if you're not sure, follow the manufacturer's guidelines for doing that. And now it's open. Locate an available PCIe slot and remove its slot cover. Here we have a PCIe slot. Here we go. You're going to carefully insert the adapter into the PCIe slot. Now, as you do this, make sure the adapter is evenly and securely attached. You might want to wiggle it around in there, but just make sure it's flush into the adapter slot. To finish, fix the adapter with the retaining screw and replace the panel. So for the retaining screw, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Grab your panel and put it back on, again, as the manufacturer recommends. Once everything's closed up, adjust the direction of the antennas as needed. Straight up's fine, but uh, however you need for your home. And then reconnect the power cord and switch on your computer. Next, let's start with connecting the adapter for USB adapters. For this one, insert the USB adapter into an available USB port onto your computer and make sure it's flush in there and all secure. If the adapter includes external antennas, adjust it as you need. Next we're going to go into installing the driver software. Windows Setup Wizard will guide you through the installation procedure. In this demo, we're going to use Windows 10 and the Archer T9UH. This procedure may vary from other versions of Windows. There are two ways to obtain the correct driver software for your adapter. First is by the CD-ROM, usually included into the packaging. 
the other one is downloading the driver software from our TP-Link website if your CD drive is not available. So let's first take a look at the CD-ROM method. Insert the provided CD-ROM into your CD drive and run the autorun.exe or the setup.exe file from the pop-up autoplay window. If the autoplay window doesn't appear, that's okay. We can go ahead and run the CD manually. And there's autorun, open it up, and there it is. Select the model of your adapter and click Install Driver to begin. The Install Shield Wizard window will appear. Select Next to continue. Select Install Driver only and then click Next. To continue with installing the driver software in the pre-selected folder, go ahead and click Next. If you would like to save the driver somewhere else, then go ahead and select Change and select the folder you want. Click Install to continue. Wait for the installation to complete and then select Finish. Now the second method, if you want to download the driver software from our TP-Link website, goes like this. Open your web browser and please type in www.tp-link.com in the address bar and press Enter. The page is going to load up and here we are. Let's take a look at the top right of the page and enter the model number of your wireless adapter in that search bar. You should find your adapter, so go ahead and click on it. And the next page you'll see overview, specifications, and support. Go ahead and click support. Now, some adapters may have different hardware versions, so please select the correct version according to your product. Click on the driver tab. And scroll down, and before you download the driver, make sure that the operating system and the hardware version is correct with yours. Once you have confirmed, click the driver to download, and it will be saved as a zip file. Save the file somewhere you can easily find it. Once it's finished downloading, locate the zip file you have downloaded. Here it is right here. And use decompression software such as WinZip or WinRAR, which we'll use in this demonstration, to extract the file. Right click the file and select Extract here. All driver files will be extracted into the same folder as that zip file. Open the folder. If you can see a setup.exe file, double click this file, follow the setup wizard, to install the driver. There you go. If there is no setup.exe, install the driver manually by referring to the TP-Link wireless adapter troubleshooting video, which we have provided for you. Last but not least, let's join a Wi-Fi network. Okay, to do that, your computer will now be able to use your network adapter to join Wi-Fi networks. Click the network icon on the taskbar Select the Wi-Fi network you want to join and click Connect. Enter the Wi-Fi password when prompted to. After a short while, the network status will be changed to Connected. If you run into any difficulties at all, please refer to the TP-Link wireless adapter troubleshooting video or contact us. We'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching.